What's up guys, Sim here, and in this video, after three and a half years, we finally got Betsy running. So we got the new starter on, you can barely see it down there, but it is down there. The new one is on, we're going to charge the battery, we're going to put the battery in, I'm going to try not to flip the engine, and we're going to try and start it first without adjusting the timing, because the shop claims to have done it, so I'm going to go off what they said and say the timing should be right, but if the timing isn't right, we're going to loosen up the distributor and advance and retard the timing a little bit to check, but before we do that, we're going to just try and start it up now with the brand new starter. So it's Monday after school. The reason we didn't do this over the weekend is because it snowed, Chicago weather. But we got a bunch of gas in there now. We know it fires up and works. And now we're gonna break in the camshaft and hopefully once we do that, the car will be good to go. So as you guys just saw, we broke in the camshaft, had the thing running, had it idling good. We finally did it. Thanks to the help of all you guys, give me advice and all the things you've done over the years. Finally got Betsy running. Now the test is just to see if it, whether or not it can drive. I know we have to change the oil and then we have to, I have to add more transmission fluid in and we should be good to go. But today, finally, we broke in the camshaft and got Betsy running. All right, so we got all new fluids in it. Changed the oil, changed the oil filter. We changed or put transmission fluid in it. Now we're gonna see if the car will move under its own power.
So that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed. Unfortunately, today we tried to start the car and it's just not running right. I Yesterday, when we broke in the camshaft, we set the idle timing. It was running a little bit like off, but I think that was just tuning with the carb. Now, go to start it up today. Idle's real rough off the start. I did a little higher than it was before, too, maybe by like 100, 200 RPM. And then I'll rev it, rev it, give it gas, and then just die, like, do, 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 and slowly dies out. It may be like after I rev it, I for like two seconds, then dies. I don't know what's wrong. I'm going to do some research, try and keep figuring out what to do. We did get it running, though. Broken the camshaft today. Put Like I said, transmission fluid. Put an oil, change the filter. We've made some good progress on the car. I think the problem could be a vacuum leak, but I'm not sure. Going to do some research and try to figure it out for next week. So make sure you guys tune in next Wednesday for another video of my car. And make sure you guys tune in this Friday for Street Race Talk episode 174. As always, we'll be talking about all the news that happened this week in street racing. And make sure you guys click that little bell. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss a single video that I upload. I upload all my videos at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. But maybe you don't realize it's 6 p.m. It's the same XYZ. I was uploading a video. You get that notification on your phone. Or to go watch my video right away. And make sure you guys leave your comments down below here. We finally got the car running. How do you guys think it sounds? It sounds it's loud as heck right now. I got earplugs in and still it's loud and hurts my ears. I'm going to need to get an exhaust on it. But posted a video on Instagram of the car running the day we got it running in. All of you guys that saw it so far loved it. I want to hear what you guys have to say that are just seeing it now running for the first time. So make sure you guys leave your comments down below. I read absolutely all the comments replied to just about all of them. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at SimABCXYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is SimABCXYZ signing out.